All right, as you can see, I've logged into the back of WordPress, and I'm going to show you how to use the master slider. That is the slider you have on your front page. It's this one here. And so if you're going to update the pictures or you need to change the images or the links, this is how you do it. All right, so you log in to uh, WordPress, and down at the very bottom of the left-hand menu is the master slider. You just click on that. Okay, so there's your home page slider. And you just click on that home page. All right, so here are the current slides you have. There's four of them here. You can simply add one if you wanted to by clicking Add a Slide. And you'll get the option to pick some photos, which we're not going to do. I strongly recommend that the slider has no more than three tops, four slides on it. Um, no one's going to look at the top part of your website long enough to see all the slides. Now, let's say you wanted to change this photo out. This is the first slide here. The background is the photo that we're using, the image. And you simply just delete it. Now it's gone. And add a different one. Um, you can upload one if you have it on your computer. There are some already on the website. Um, Let's just, I won't upload one. I'll just pick um I'll pick this piece of cake. And I'll add that image. So now you see that that cake image is there. It shows up here in kind of your preview area. Now if you wanted to change the verbiage, remember these slides here have words on the left hand side. The template for that, you want to go to slide info. Go ahead and click on that, and then you'll see here is the verbiage. Now there is a little button at the bottom, this little Learn More button here. That is put in by something called short code, and that's this code down here at the bottom. The best way to relink it so it goes somewhere else. Like right now, if I cl if click on this, I'm going to go to the moisturizers, right? Um, if you put something in there that's about soap and you want to change this to the soap link, then I would s simply just go to soaps. I'd right click and copy that link. I'd come into here. I'd find where the link is, right? And I would take out the link here and paste in where you want it to go. That way you're not going to lose the button. You're just changing where it links. Well, that's just about it. Now, you want to make sure that when you're doing your slides, that you pick the slide up here, but replace the photo down here. Sometimes it gets confusing and, so, and you might just go like this and be like, oh, I don't want that photo anymore. And you actually end up deleting the slide. In this case, my browser warned me, do you want to delete this slide? No, I do want four slides. I just want a different background image that's down here. So it does get a little confusing. And again, slide info here. It's that simple. Save it and you're done. All right, if you have questions, just put them in the comment or just give me a call. Thanks.